Okay, so welcome back. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna teach you how you can use conditional statements. Okay, so you may be wondering, Covert, what are conditional statements? Okay, now conditional statements are basically um, just think to yourself: um, if you were a millionaire, okay, what would you do with all your money? And once you come out with an answer. Um, that would have, uh, well, you would have gone through a conditional statement, okay? If you were a millionaire, okay, then you would do something, okay? So let's just delete this, okay? Let's say, let's declare a variable, okay? Millionaire is equal to false, because, you know, I'm not a millionaire yet. Um, so... This is basically the same thing. You think to yourself, hey, I'm not a millionaire yet. I'm not, I'm not sure about you, but I am not a millionaire yet. So it is false, okay? Because I am not a millionaire yet. So we declare a conditional statement just in case I am a millionaire. So if millionaire is equal to true then do millionaire stuff okay so basically currently i am not a millionaire okay but if i was a millionaire if millionaire this variable is equal to now note that um to declare equal to you use two equal signs, okay? Not one, because one is basically when you declare a variable, two is when you're comparing, okay? So if millionaire is equal to true, which isn't, it isn't right now, it's false, then you're gonna do millionaire stuff. So let's just build up on the previous lessons. Let's just print out, I am a millionaire, okay? Now, this is where conditional statements get interesting, okay? Um, if I am a millionaire, then I'm going to print out, hey, I'm a millionaire, you know? But if I am not a millionaire, we use else, okay? Now, assuming we went through this, the code went through this, okay? And this is false, okay? This here is false because I am not a millionaire, okay? But... Uh, if it's true, it's going to go here. But if it is not true, okay, then I am not a millionaire. Okay? And it's going to print out, I am not a millionaire. Okay, if we run this, it's going to print out, I am not a millionaire. Okay? There you go. But, just imagine, okay, you have randomly found i don't know like a bag of a million bucks in the street i guess and you turn this to true okay it's gonna print i am a millionaire as you can see now that's just one use case let's just change up the use case um uh let me think of a use case here uh okay let's do something with numbers okay uh Let's declare our number is equal to 500, okay? If number is equal to 500, then, bam, we feed the nail, it's 500, no need to do anything else. Print, it is 500. Else, if it is not 500, print, I don't know, okay? Now, there's also another, it's the final conditional, um, sort of, it's not a statement, but you know, it's the final part that you need to learn. Um, else if, okay? These go before, uh, let's just ignore this. Uh, these go before the else's, okay? So you go with if, then if this condition is not met, then you check another condition with else if. Okay, so if number is equal to 600, then it is 600. Just print out that. 
Okay, now you can keep doing this like for like a lot of times. Else if number is equal to I don't know, 700, then print it is 700. Okay, now currently it's going to print it is 500. Okay, bam. If we increase this to 600, it's going to print out 600 because this is what it does. It went through the first one and this is not met. So it skips the code within the conditional block, okay, and goes to the next condition. So if it's not 500, it checks if the number is equal to 600. If it is 600, then it's going to print out this, just like this here, okay? Now, let's do something a, just a tad bit more complex, okay? Else if the number is greater than um, 700, then, okay, if the number is greater than 700, it's just going to print out number is greater than 700, okay? So let's just increase this to 701. It's going to go through all of these and it's not going to meet any of the conditions until it reaches else if, okay? If the number is greater than 700, and then it's going to print this. Imagine if we just declare this to negative 35, for example, it's not going to meet any of these conditions, okay? It's just going to go straight through all of these, and it's just going to go to the else. So the else is just the backup, okay? So if the conditions or the condition are not met, then you're going to go right here. Oh my god, that's Java, okay. Right here. Okay, it's gonna go here. Print this out, and it's gonna print I don't know. Okay, so let's add another one of these. Else if number is less than zero, then print number is less than zero. Okay, it went through all of these, none of these conditions are met, and it checks if the number is less than zero and this obviously is going to return true and it's going to print out this because the condition is met okay so it's going to print out number is less than zero but what if we wanted to do an else if before this before that drastic measure i guess else if number is greater than or equal to negative uh, negative 30 okay this is obviously not gonna meet it because negative 30 is uh, larger than negative 35 so let's just make this 29 actually just make make it negative 30 so this is what this does is if the number is larger than negative 30 or if the number is equal to negative 30 then it's gonna print out whatever we wanted to do in here you know um now there's also the same type of operand okay this is an operand um you could do less than or equal to or greater than or equal to okay greater than or equal to or less than or equal to okay pretty important stuff you should remember these because you're going to use them a lot in uh scripting okay there's one final operand that we have not covered yet. Um, the not equal to, okay? If number is not equal to uh, 20, then number is not equal to 20. Else, print number is equal to 20, okay? So basically, it goes through the script bam 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 hits this if number is not equal to 20 okay number in this case is negative 30 if negative 30 is not equal to 20 then it's going to print number is not equal to 20 okay else if this is not met which means that the number must be 20 if it isn't equal to 20 okay okay th that might have confused you if the number is not equal to 20 it's going to print this but if this condition is not met, that means that the number must be equal to 20, okay? 
so the number is equal to 20. This is obviously going to print out not equal to 20, but if you wanted to uh, change this to 20, there you go. Number is equal to 20. Okay, now let's do one final thing before I end this episode. Um, you could actually compare variables. Okay, so uh, let's just, I don't know, num1 is equal to 30, num2 is equal to 20, num3 is equal to 50. Okay, now if num1, which is 30, is equal to num2, then that means that number one is equal to number two, and you just print that out, is equal to number two, okay? But if this condition is not met, we want the else if statement, okay, to check if number one is equal to number three. And you just do this, okay? If it is, then number one is equal to number three, okay? Just in case none of these are met, you put in else, okay? Now, just to note, you don't have to put in else or else if. The, the, uh, the statement, the conditional statement, will work just fine without uh, else if or else, okay? That's just a little uh, note. So just put else print number one is not equal to number one uh, two or number three and this is obviously going to print out uh this one because none of the numbers are equal okay as you can see number one is not equal to number two or three okay uh but what if we were to change number three to 30 for example number one is equal to number three okay pretty easy pretty straightforward um i did say this was going to be the last thing but uh i'm gonna just pass out pass down just a bit more knowledge to you um you know that variables can also be boolean expressions like true or false um let's make number one equal to true okay let's just change this because you know a number it cannot be a boolean uh random thing okay random thing if random thing is equal to true then print true else print false okay now if this is equal to true then it's gonna print true okay obviously if it was false it's gonna print false okay now this is just a bit of reverse logic. If random thing is equal to false, then it's gonna print true, okay? But it is not equal to false, it's equal to true. So it goes to the else statement and bam, it prints false because it is not equal to false, okay? Now, just a bit of a shortcut. For boolean, uh, for boolean variables, you do not have to do equal to, okay? If you remove this, this here is the equivalent of this, if random thing is equal to true, okay? The same thing. Don't worry about that. Just no worries, okay? If we wanted to do the same thing as this, this is just a bit more complex we just add a keyword in front, okay? Not. So basically, if not random thing, not is basically like, um, it's a computer science gate, like a not gate. So if it's one, it turns it to zero. And if it's zero, it turns into one. Same thing for true or false. Like you don't really need to learn these. It's just, you know, just dropping a bit of knowledge on you. Um, so if false, and you apply this on random thing, it's gonna turn it into true. And if you do true and turn it into false, okay? So this will just basically print out this. I mean this, okay? It's gonna print out false, okay? Cause not random thing 
Uh, okay, this might be a bit too complex for you guys. There is no need to panic if you don't understand this. This is just a bit more complex. Um, if not random thing, okay, how does this work? Um, random thing, random, okay, let me just write a multi-line comment to explain this. Random thing is equal to true. Yes, it is equal to true. Okay, but if you add a not, okay, so this is number one, this is what happens. Then if you add not random thing, this would become equivalent to false. Okay. Now, remember how I said, if you just do this, this is the equivalent of checking if it is equal to true. Okay. Same thing. It checks if not random thing is equal to true. Okay. Random thing. I mean, not random thing is equal to true. If not random thing is equal to true, then fine, it's going to print false. But in this case, not random thing is the inverse of true. So it's going to be false. Okay. If false, then it's going to print true. Now that doesn't make sense. So it obviously prints out false. Okay. Now that last thing might have been a bit too complex. Um, no need to panic if you didn't understand that. Just drop a comment or something and I'll help you out. But uh, no real reason to re learn this just yet. This was just a bit uh, more advanced than the caliber we're currently working with. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode should cover simple loops and weight uh, operations. So see you in the next episode and thank you for watching.